Which words should I use when I search? Grid exercise, generating search terms for online research, part two, from the library at Spokane Community College. In the previous video, you've seen how to use a grid to explore a simple search. Now we'll see how to apply the grid exercise to a more complex topic of the type you might create for an actual research essay. Here's an example topic. Despite historical improvements in gender equality in the United States educational system, girls and women still face significant challenges to embarking on and succeeding in STEM education. More needs to be done to counteract gender stereotypes in society, which pose barriers, especially in higher education. Step one in the grid exercise is to identify core concepts. What core concepts do you see in this research question? Probably gender, girls, and women is one. STEM education may be another. We may also focus just on information about the educational system in the U.S. and perhaps focus on higher education, which means anything above high school, so college and university. It's okay if you picked out other core concepts than these. Step two in the grid exercise is to draw a simple grid. For this topic, we might end up having a grid with four columns, maybe gender, STEM education, United States, and higher education. Even though this topic is more complex than our first example, it's still perfectly fine to start very simply with just two topics, gender and STEM education. Why? Because if you find articles, reports, books, or videos which discuss gender and STEM education, it's very likely they'll be useful to you. Later, you can use database filters and additional search terms to narrow your search to just United States and just college-level education if you wish. Where to use search terms? Use the terms you've discovered when searching for information in article databases like ProQuest and ERIC, in web search engines like Google, and when you're searching library collections of books, ebooks, articles, and other research information. Other sources for finding search words and phrases. In addition to brainstorming your own search terms using the grid exercise, you'll want to reuse subjects you find in library databases or other information sources. You've seen how article databases like ERIC and ProQuest contain their own search language. If you find subjects or descriptors which interest you, add them to your grid and use them when you search. Another source for finding search terms is a library research guide. From the library homepage, you'll find a link to research guides. Your college librarians create research guides which guide you to search terms and information sources. Here's a guide for researching education topics. Notice the search terms suggested to get you started in your research, like at-risk students, achievement gap, and educational trauma. And finally, ask librarians for help anytime you have questions about searching, search terms, research in general, or citation. Click 24-7 Help from the library homepage to chat with a live librarian any time of the day or night. SCC Library 24-7 Help QR code. Libraries are for everyone. 